Hi everyone, this is Akasha. This is a complete different video to my normal. Uh, this is for Canvas Camp, um, who is, who are a, <laughs> um, a business that sell bell tents. Now I'm here in my five meter bell tent with my Sequoia stove, uh, which is a five kilowatt stove. And I wanted to do a video just to sort of let you know about Canvas Camp. Uh, the setup and the living conditions and how it was for me, the good and the bad things. Um, so basically, first of all, um, Canvas Camp uh, are set in uh, Amsterdam. They're a really good company. The customer service is excellent. Very fast delivery. I got the tent in five days delivered for 20 euro. <laughs> Uh, so in France and then uh, the stove took a little longer because it was made specifically for what I wanted and that comes it shipped in from the UK but still very good and this one is the Sequoia one it's the biggest stove they have so it's about five kilowatt uh, power and um, just really good uh, over, all over they do sort of they had a competition with photos and they're just a really nice ethic company I really I thought they were really good from my experience anyway and um, so first of all size of the tent it's a five meter um, I've been living in it for eight months um, on my own so during winter period and it's really great like um, the size is great the stove is great I mean, I've lived in um, pretty cold <laughs> houses my whole life, so my standards are not very high, but this has really been the hottest uh, hangout that I've had. Even in the winter months, it did get um, sub-zero, and it was um, not so cold. It didn't snow or anything, so I can't tell you about that those conditions, but mainly it was just really, um, really comfortable. Uh, the stove, I've been burning chestnut and oak in it, so it's been kind of like, um, you know, the oak I'd leave overnight and the chestnut's really good to get it going. It starts really easy. Uh, there's a vent at the front, so you can just like slide the vent around. Um, when I go to sleep, I just close in. It just burns really slowly. Um, sometimes when it was really cold, I got up in the night to sort of uh, put loads of logs on but it depends if you have loads of duvets but it's really warm I mean it, it's it gets really toasty in here um, as you can see on this side there's um, a mold you so um, mold and this is because the tent has been up for eight months it should only be up for five maximum and then get recoated but you can still um, clean it with a product that Canvas Camp have and also um, then recoat it with the anti-mold and water resistant product. I don't know the name. <laughs> so um, the setup, um, when I first bought the tent I was freaking out a little because to to put it in I was like oh it's gonna, well, I don't know how to do that but it was really easy so it comes with, wait, let me show you, so um, this, uh, the washer here, it's, I cut it wrong, so it wasn't right, and it also didn't quite resist the 5 kilowatt heat, so it did burn off, I thought this would be a major issue with rain, but it honestly wasn't, um, it, I mean, at the moment there's a hole and water doesn't come in, I have sort of like metal tape on top, I'll show you in a minute. So basically this comes with two parts and the screws. You need to cut out the hole that you measure from this metal plate and then the washer is on one side, the, the orange washer, and then the metal plate. So you just need to make holes for each one and then cut the little holes, cut the main hole out, put it together, put silicone in the middle between the two plates. And I also added, and I'll show you on the outside, I added silicone um, around the edge because um, it's it was a boat silicone. It's not so eco-friendly, but it stopped the um, 
the water coming in because uh, the water is coming in around the edges no other place so there is silicone that comes with it I don't know it could work for you I had to buy another one but it was only about five euros so not too bad and um, yeah it's really simple I thought it'd be really difficult and then I was like oh but what happens when you take the stove out and if you just want the tent well the washer's glued in technically the, the orange thing so you just want to have a plastic bag um, you know or some sort of waterproof thing to put over it if you don't have the stove the stove is great just to sort of like boost the heat or to dry if it's been raining I highly recommend getting a stove it just makes the whole thing really cozy and nice um, and what else what else do I need to tell you yeah we <laughs> the floor I have the zip around the around the tent which is really good because I can roll it up and air it and I didn't really do that because it hasn't been super hot but I would definitely do that in the summer um, there was moles uh, the little creatures that sort of like burrow up so they made the ground completely uneven in here um, tried scraping on the bottom but they didn't get through crazy moles and uh, what else? So the rain, um, if it's really stormy and really rainy, it can be really annoying to sleep. Um, if not, it can be quite romantic um, at the beginning. <laughs> and um, the noise and birds um, is really enchanting at first and then can be really annoying. That's the only other thing. It's really nice. I mean, the nightingales and all that, it, if, you, if you're a deep sleeper, there's no problem. If not, I'd recommend getting earplugs. And, um, yeah, this is the, the high resistant waterproof one I got, so the top of the range, um, and I would recommend that. Obviously, I haven't tried the other one, so I couldn't really compare. Um, if you're thinking of getting a canvas, ca a, a, ca a tent from Canvas Camp, I highly recommend it. It's just awesome. I've been here eight months. Um, you know you can cook on the fire you can make toast you can cook nut like roast nuts or like you know on top you can just chuck a banana on the top it heats it up it's really nice you can cook loads of stews and sort of curries um it's really good for cooking like it, it heats up so fast that it's just totally doable i didn't think that would be possible but it's really doable and <clears throat> what else um yeah, I think that's it. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. Um, if you if you need to email me for any reason, or you just or just contact um, Canvas Camp. So www.canvascamp.com. They're really great. They they support projects and um, many other things, and they're really friendly people. So from my experience, and so yeah, if you're thinking about um, buying and living in a, a bell tent for the summer or longer I highly recommend it it's so nice being in communion with nature it's so nice being close to the earth and just like a really cozy little nest outside it's perfect anyway lots of love and um, if you don't know my other videos do check them um, I channel and it's um, usually Quite random but you might like it so lots of love to you all many blessings enjoy your adventures and just be you bye